Yo, what's good guys? So pretty much we're back. Uh, well, I'm back. We're about to go crazy. But today, a lot of you have already been asking me um, in my Discord. You guys just want day in the life stuff. Stuff that I do to prepare for the collection, stuff like that. So today we got all these pieces from the new collection that we're about to release. Still, still haven't showed them yet or rolled out the collection. So this is basically kind of unreleased at the time. Uh, but we're, we are gonna release all these pieces very, very soon. These gotta be my favorite shorts. But yeah, just the stitching and everything. Pretty much today is what I do to prepare for every collection. Shout out to Axel who runs uh, our TikTok. Um, I pretty much just do all the content and like filming, but he's the one that makes it, clips it. He knows what's gonna, you know, what does good on TikTok and stuff like that. So pretty much what I do is use my phone, simple as that. I just take like some short videos and that's why I'll just, you know, we'll get into it. So pretty much, um, that's what I do. And just kind of take videos of every item, just for the reels, just for stuff like that. Cause I feel like a lot of people don't realize, but I pretty much do everything for my brand. Um, all the product shots, we're about to shoot a lookbook as well. But the whole goal with Eternal is just kind of like get people to talk about the pieces. Um, I wanted to talk about this one the most cause these pants are just insane. All the details, the straps as well. And then now we got custom uh, rivets right here that says Eternal R World. The whole point about the symbol was to just kind of bring light to the world. Is why I feel like what Eternal can do, the clothes, what it means. Outline stitching, and then pretty much the same thing, distressing. And then this is my favorite part though, the leather back tab. It's just crazy, all the details. And then we got the shirt, overall simple, heavy, super nice as well. Then we got the long sleeve mesh, we are missing a colorway this will be in pink bright pink to match this this as well but overall all over print pretty nice this got to be my favorite zip up we've been working on this one for for a minute now but you can tell with this one it's more like simple but it's the colors that go with it colors that just are unique um we also have this type of printing which is crack crack printing just so it can kind of give like a vintage look. For me, it's kind of more like icing on cake, it looks like, I don't know why. But so I'm excited to drop these pieces. Just overall, the detail that's been going into it. I feel like a lot of people think that we're like streetwear, and I get like why people would think we're streetwear, but what I want to push and show people that you can create a brand and start somewhere and then transform it to something else, and that's what's called vision. For me, it's like I want to push the brand to something much more deeper than what it is. More something where it creates like the thought of, of people's opinions. Um, even when people hate in my comments, I like that because they're looking at my piece and taking it away the, the way they kind of view the world. The way we perceive things as well is like perceived into everything that we see. Um, but overall, I really want to move the brand to more like a luxury premium brand, more high end. We got new packaging, new hang tags. These don't have it yet, but once I get them in, we'll show them in the little in a clip. But then we'll move on to this piece as well. This one is gonna. This one is a sample. It had to be reworked. But we got pockets. We got two pockets. Same thing. Custom buttons. And this one got a custom zipper, uh, which is fire. I like it a lot. And then we got just embroidery. And then this this hood can actually be zipped apart, which is actually really fire that I haven't seen most people do. Overall, it's just trying to bring that uniqueness to the clothes, trying to bring something new. A lot of people just drop the same things like t-shirts, you know, joggers, shorts, whatever they want to do. But with these pieces, it's like creating a moment in, in 2022 in September when I release these. Because when I look back, I like to look back like if you can look over there, the clips. Um, this was one of my favorite drops at the time and I always look back to it and always try to create like, well, how can I recreate that moment of when people thought it was like something crazy. And I feel like this collection really captivates it, but our next collections as well are just crazy. And we got these shorts, how to pull them off the shelf, cause off the rack, I mean, cause I don't know. I think these are just so beautiful with all the stitching. Um, you have a whole cross stitch to the front of the shorts and not, most people don't do that. We got the button as well. And then we got the embroidery on top. 
and we got drawstrings and the same thing we got two back pockets but overall the details insane you can clip on your keys whatever you want to clip on but yeah let's get to the belt though i feel like i barely talked about that this is this got to be my best belt ever um all the details just the craftsmanship is crazy so the belt i've actually had the symbol since early literally december of 29 um 2020 um going into 2021 we released a collection called uh blood moon which uh this logo came from but then i always wanted to use it for a belt a lot of people told me not to use it just because it was so big um but we found the perfect size after two months of sampling and finding the right gems that could fit it the craftsmanship is just insane like i don't know i've never seen a belt like this that overall just the way it contemplates the white the pink the silver um is insane and then we also have our logo printed on the back with the sizing so you guys can see just the quality, the leather, leather belt, obviously. But overall, when you guys put this on, trust me, it definitely catches eyes. So I get a lot of questions asking me about how I came up pretty much with the eclipses. This kind of dates back to like early, late 2019. Um, and it's kind of like a little sad now that I kind of look back at it because I used to look up to this guy. I don't know his name off the top of my head, but he was out in J Japan. I think he was Chinese though. But yeah, so he cop he didn't copy, but he took off from like, you know, Babe stuff, Nigo, stuff like that. And he's, he made like some shoes called Star, Star Walk. So it's pretty much the same thing, you know, a swoosh and then a star there. Um, and I really liked them. And I really liked the concept that he was doing with them because he wasn't just doing like uh, just simple colorways. He was putting like fabric on them. He was using like actual like uh, fur leopard print. Um, which was super cool to see that and overall it was, it was like something that I had never seen before And I kind of took the inspiration to like start my own shoe because at the moment I was just making clothes, right? And for me when I make clothes everything's about the way it looks and the way it feels and how I'll feel when I put it on right and it just didn't feel right that I was making you know pants uh, shirts zip ups whatever I was making at the time and I had nothing to wear like shoe wise and so I was like I gotta make my own shoes and so that's when a designer hit me up back in like 2020, January. I'm pretty sure the date was January 19th of 2020 because I remember I was out in Washington, D.C. And that was before COVID hit and everything. And he actually sent me the logo of the, the swoosh just like that, right? And it was a cool logo because I had hit him up for some symbols and this is what we we're doing. And at the time I told him, yo, I want to make my own shoes. So if you guys already know, the Midnight Eclipses, which is just a black and white OG pair is the first one we mocked up and made, um, but we actually, the first pair that we've ever released were the, the Sun Eclipse ones, which were like the orange and yellow uh, color block colorway. Um, and now these are part of the Neon collection. And so we finished up all the Neon uh, clips, clips version. So, you know, we got like, I got the pinks on right now. We got the greens, we got the blues, we got the aqua. Oh, we have purple. So we had like at least five or four pair of shoes that were just in the same color blocking. You know, we had purple here and just black, black swoosh. So we're going into the Z Gen, um, which are new, new shoes that are releasing with this collection that I got behind me that will match with the whole fit. Right now I don't got them, so we're just rocking the pinks. Um, overall, that that's kind of like the style that we're going for, like the shoes. I don't mind the hate. I actually find it cool that people hate on me, take their time to like comment something. They're like, oh, you copied Air Force Ones or you copied Bape. And that's cool, you know, I can see, obviously I see I took inspiration because we use kind of like the same silhouette. But pretty much what differentiates us is using this little strap right here, allowing us to kind of build a newer model and overall making it look cleaner in my opinion. I like the way it looks because this is a size four, right? You look at my shoes right here, this is a size nine, right? Overall, they kind of, they literally the same shoe, same everything. But for me, moving forward, it is, I, I really, these are beaten up as well, but for when you wear them, I really like how small, not as long as the Air Force One, and kind of more chunky on top, which makes it overall kind of like boxy. That's what I like in shoes. I like boxy shoes in a weird way. And let me show y'all something. We're gonna cover it up. We're gonna censor it for you guys. But just know, like, what we're doing is insane. So this is like, a, collection that's about to come out in December but y'all we're gonna censor this so they can't really see but y'all can over see the general picture of what's about to come um, and then we got these where they at 
We got these as well, which are about to be going crazy because everybody likes the red. But overall, yeah, that's how that's how they came came to life. Um, and R.I.P. the dude that inspired me. He sadly passed away a couple of days ago. I seen it on Instagram. Um, had to pay my respects to him. But overall, it's just insane to see the moment that we actually created it to now where we've already sold around almost close to 2,000 pairs. And for me, that's a big W because. I'm independent, obviously, I run everything out of my own loft. I do, I'm there for my photo shoots, there for my fulfillment, my customer support. Um, I'm there with my designers designing stuff. But overall, just know that when you guys support me, you guys are supporting my team of designers and you know, they're dedicated. Shout out to Spooky and Kevin, you guys are probably follow them. And this is what we do for a living, you know, this is what, this is what I feel like I was called to do. I was called to put, put art you know, put art out, have a vision, and kind of transform the way people kind of look at clothes. For me, it can go so much deeper. To I could go so much deeper into this, but at the end of the day, I enjoy it. It's for fun as well. I do this for fun. I love it. I hope you guys love it as well. We got a lot of stuff on the way. Love you. Yo, what's up, guys? So this is day two. You guys already seen how we do pretty much our TikTok content as well. Now we're about to shoot the lookbook for the Morphia collection. We got three models. Shout out to the dudes that are giving me the opportunity to be here. You know, Gabe uh, kind of hit me up. I think I hit him up. Um, but overall, I'm excited to work with them, get some stuff for them. So this is like the, the beautiful part of like seeing like the hours that go into making the clothes, like trying to figure out like the fabrics, like the colors, the theme of every collection is like something that takes hours that most people don't see, you know? And it all happens from up here, it all happens in a group with my designers and stuff. But like to see the effect of like how it looks on people is like always a beautiful thing that I like to see. Obviously I'm not dressed up to, you know, model because that's not my thing. Uh, so I love to see my clothes on people and I love to see the art and how it just resonates with them and overall it's like that, that that's so beautiful like, <laughs> Mayor you want to change your uh, zip up? <laughs> Alright so we got Larry Phaso modeling if you guys can tell I don't know if you can tell but like that belt. I mean, not the belt, the bag. I don't know if I'm gonna release it for this collection, but let me know. Actually, you can't let me know because this is gonna come after it, but uh, I'm still deciding. But overall, it looks super nice with the clothes. I like the contrast, the same. It has like the same coloring and dye as the pants and the, ba and the bag, obviously. But yeah. I got some good detail shots. Like, like Yo, what's up guys, so we just shot the lookbook, everything's done. We kind of did like a speed run montage for you guys to look at it. But like, these are the type of messages that I really appreciate from supporters that have been here for such a long time. This guy's been supporting me since like 2020, I mean 2019. He's kind of like, bro, I appreciate, it. he's like, love what you're doing, the evolution's crazy. That's what it is, it's like, I started somewhere and I keep going down this path of like, trying to create stories with my clothes, trying to create that interaction. I think the clothing part is like, I don't have to go so deep to sell you my clothes. It's like you can connect to it if you see it, if you if like you're meant you're meant for it, you're meant for it. But overall, this collection is releasing September 16th, 7 p.m. Central Time. Don't miss out. Everything is limited. From we got the belts releasing, we got the pants releasing, the shirt. So and then we got the zip up as well. We got more pieces that I'm not being able to show right now. But overall, I love you guys. Thank you so much for all the support. Let's sell out this collection so I can keep. Um, not so I can keep, but so I can bring more fire pieces to life. I love you.